Hi Darkroom Core users, Eugene here with Darkroom Software. In this quick video, I want to show you how to make um, a custom proof template that you can use. It'll be similar to this where it'll have three images, it'll say proof as a watermark over the top, and along the bottom it'll have some contact information. But um, let's go ahead and get started. We're going to go ahead and switch into the Setup tab and go to Products and Services package groups, or I'm sorry, templates, orders, and then you'll select uh, the template group that you want to add it to. I'm going to go ahead and add it to my templates. Uh, I'm going to click new. It's going to be a four by eight proof and three up for three images. So the page size is four by eight. It's going to be horizontal, 300 DPI. I'm going to go ahead and click OK. First thing I'm going to do is add the photos using add multiple photos. There's going to be one row and three columns. They should all be oriented vertically with a fixed aspect ratio of, you can choose whichever works best for you. Four by six would be uh, true to your image sensor, but I'm going to choose five by seven so it fills in just a little bit better. Uh, click OK and then OK. So I have my three images. One thing I am missing is the uh, the file names. So let's let's go ahead and double click on that and click labels, show labels, and then photo file names will automatically be chosen. We'll click OK. You can take up just a little bit more space. And I have a graphic that I've already created in Photoshop, but you could create most of this in Darkroom. It's just a little easier for demoing. So I'm gonna go ahead and add that in. And you can see it added a proof watermark over the image. You can still see through to the image with um, some contact info. And we'll wanna put in a order by date. So we'll click um, add text. And we'll say June 12th, 2024. And click OK. We'll go ahead and fit that right there. And let's make it a little easier to see. Change that to a red color and the font 16. Okay, and we're gonna we're gonna go ahead and save the border as a new border. And make sure we put it in uh, a good location. I'm gonna add it to my templates like I did earlier, and click save. So now that I have that template created, I'm gonna click over to my photo library, and we'll click on proof, and then advanced options, custom. I'm gonna go ahead and select a four by eight. And if you don't see the size you're looking for, you wanna make sure that you have the page size added to your cart. Um, and we are gonna to go to custom layout. And I saved it in, this is where it becomes really important that you know where you saved it so you know how to get to it. So it's in my templates. And there is the template. Okay, and that's it. I'm gonna go ahead and save it um, as a proof template. Three up, four by eight. Okay. And uh, I've done that, so um, next time I can just uh, cycle through my different proof templates if I have other ones that I want to use at different times. So we'll go ahead and click print all. And go to our orders tab. It's waiting on four by eight because I don't have my printer. Um, I'm using a Fuji DX100 um, to print these eight, uh, four by eights, but you could also use uh, um, like an 8x12 printer to do these as well. Uh, 
And I'm going to go ahead and zoom out so we can see all the images. But it did all this work for me. This could have been hundreds, thousands of kids, um, and it would have processed these images. Now, I did need to have three images of each kid, so if I had any extra, any under, it would have thrown the count off. But you can see how uh, this would have taken quite a bit of time in, in Photoshop to lay these out. But within Darkroom, it took a little bit of setup, but most of the work is done, and next time I need it, it'll take me just a couple seconds. I hope this has been helpful. Thank you so much for watching.